Hey, this is Rick with Shooter 1721. <laughs> Come on, man. There ain't nothing like that'll bring a smile to your face than hearing from FX USA. Hey, we're shipping you something. I hope you're ready for this. What? What are you shipping? Because I, I didn't know. Say hello to the FX Impact M3. Woo! We got the dual regulators on this guy. We got a bigger plenum on this guy. 580ccs on here. There are so many features in the, you know, we're doing our intro here. There's so many features. I'm like, oh my goodness. We're going to cover a lot of the features that are, that are new for the M3. The M3 is just an amazing platform. It's the most tunable air gun, in my opinion, in the world. And you'll see why as we get into this video. And you see today I got the Element 6-24 first focal plane on top from Element Optics, the Helix. I love this scope for this gun. And so I was talking to FXUSA. I said something to John. I said, I said uh, how about if we do, uh, let's, let's show off the 600 millimeter. I have a 700, 25, this is 25 caliber. I have a 700, but I said, let's, let's work with the, the 600 and see what we can do and see what kind of accuracy and see what power we get out of this gun. Because this gun has so many tunable features. We have a macro and a micro adjustment on, on <laughs> just being able to adjust our, the tunability is just amazing. With these two right here, you're able to fine tune down to the feet per second, down to one, two, three feet per second of what you want. And that's just, that's just the, the tip of the iceberg. We got so much to cover in this gun. When I got this, I was like, when I felt the trigger, the grip, I was like, oh, wow. This feels awesome. I am super excited to show this today. And uh, we're going to do some shooting, maybe 50, 60 yards today and uh, show you. And then uh, I definitely have a surprise for you that I want to show you. A little R&D that I was working on, but won't talk about that now. Woo! Let's get to the bench and shoot this. <laughs> okay, well... We're sitting at 60 yards here for the accuracy test. It's just where I stuck the stake. It's not not that we wouldn't do 50. I just stuck it at 60, and we're going to check out the M3 here. And we're shooting uh, FX 3395s. You can see a little bit of the wind of what it's doing a little bit. There's not much right now, so I'll shut up and shoot, and uh, we'll see if we can shoot five here at 60. All right. Well, that was pretty awesome. Uh, a couple of them were through the same hole, but you can see, I mean, 60 yards. Now, um, like I said earlier, this is a 600 millimeter barrel. And uh, I just, I said to FX USA, and, you know, about sending the gun for review. I said, let's do a 600. We do the 700 all the time. Let's show 600 accuracy and stuff. And look at 60 yards. It's kind of like, yep. Uh, when you get an FX gun in for review, you're like, okay, you know, I mean, it's possible if the shooter can sit there and do it, it's possible to put five in a hole. It really is. And I think someday I'm going to show that uh, on film, ballistics gel, target, shoot five shots through the target in the hole, and the ballistic gel will be behind it to prove uh, what we're saying is going through the same hole because all five of them will be in the gel. So I think I'm going to do that someday. But there you go. You saw how smooth uh, the cocking handle is on this, too. There's so many features of the gun to talk about. Of course, we'll get into that. Uh, but there you go. There's some 33.95s. That was pretty accurate for me. I mean, even, see that? Even in the wind. Woo! All right, let's set up the next thing. Okay, I got some uh, FX slugs here in the 600 uh, millimeter heavy barrel. 
I'm going to shoot five shots down there and, and see how they do. Uh, you can see what the wind's doing with us today. It's not too bad. All right. Let's shoot five shots with the slugs here. Well, that was almost perfect if it wasn't for me throwing the one. So we got ourselves a little under, well, it would have been a half inch group, but I threw that one. Uh, but that is, at 60 yards, that's looking nice and smooth. Okay, well, you saw what, you know, when I was shooting at uh, 60 yards, you know, we shot the slugs and, and we shot uh, 33 fives. And in this magazine, I have 33 fives slugs and then 25 three nines now i'll show you the settings we'll go through the settings on this gun and we'll talk about where we have it set i have it set for uh straight power and i got a surprise for you there's a reason this gun is set for power and it's something really cool but you'll have to wait towards the end of the video to see what it is but there was a reason i set the gun up like this because i'm gonna i'm gonna change the barrels then but i got something new something special that I want to show you but hey we're gonna run through five uh, chronograph numbers of each at this setting okay so what we're gonna show you is the speed of 33.95 1st first 25.39 basically our slugs uh, the 26 grains basically and then we'll show you the 25.39 so let's go with five 33.95 set up the way this is like I said there's a reason for this Okay, that was that was the thirty three nine fives. Nine hundred sixty seven. Nine hundred seventy. Nine hundred sixty seven. Nine hundred. Now it's starting to settle in really good where it becomes super consistent. Okay, so now we're moving to the slugs. Now remember, 600 millimeter barrel, they're slugs. I normally, with the slugs, I like a 700, but I'm testing out the 600 because I'm curious to see how it does. It is shooting really good at 60 yards. It shot a great group, as you saw. All right, so now let's shoot them. See what they're doing. Now remember, this is 72 cc plenum now, okay, instead of a 54, all right? So we have power here. 1,035. Wow. So that means at 60 yards, that group you saw me shoot at 1,035 feet per second. 1,035. Oh, is this consistent? All right, let's see. 1,035. Did that say it three times, Ryan? 1, I knew it would do 21. it. I knew it would do it to me there. <laughs> That's because I talked too early and shot too fast. <laughs> All right. All right, let's shoot this last one here. Yeah, I think what happened is I shot that pretty quick. So, But it's not as far as the accuracy. I mean, look at that. 1,035 out of a 600 millimeter with the settings where I have. And the reg, the rear reg is set at 150. The front reg is set at 190. Okay, so that's, that's that front reg is taking all that pressure, though, to make this rear reg just say, thank you so much. I can make this more consistent. I can tune this gun to whatever I want. And that's something we'll go over next. I want to show you uh, about the tuning of it. So... All right, let's uh, let's shoot these twenty-five three nines. They should be shooting probably the same. One thousand fifty-three. Oh my. One thousand sixty. Now this is a six hundred millimeter. Can you imagine what the seven's doing? One thousand forty-eight. One thousand 
And there you go. All right. Well, you get to see what the three different ones are doing there. And I mean, 600 millimeter with all that power. I mean, the tunability and adjustability of it is just amazing. You know, you're able to tune it to whatever you want to do. Okay. Well, the M3 has so many features. I was sitting here, I actually had to take notes on this one because I was like, I talked to FX USA and I was like, what? I mean, I was stunned when, when um, this gun got to me. I was like, wow, this is the most tunable, incredible air gun I've ever seen. I, I don't even know what to say. I'm just getting started. We've only had it for a week and we're trying to figure this out as far as there's just so many things we can do. I mean, let's talk about it a little bit. So we'll start with, I'm gonna start with, this is our macro adjuster here. You heard the word macro. And then right here is your micro. And you can see the numbers, how they work, what's on the top, what's on the bottom. You see the, the wheel here, remember how the old power wheel had the numbers on there? Well here uh, we have uh, 16. And this is for really changing your feet per second drastically, like, you know, I don't know, maybe 20 feet per second, 15. Um, it does that. But then here with your micro, it's just a fine tuning and you're like fine tuning. Well, you remember that you were able to adjust on your MK2, you're able to adjust it. Well, now you can do it right here and just slide that with your finger and micro adjust. So you have your macro if you want to get your into calibers. I mean, this is kind of crazy to even talk about. So we have right now, we got 500, 600, 700, even 800 in a 357 different barrels. So now we can tune to what we want feet per second easily. It's all right here to be able to turn uh, the micro adjuster to fine tune it down to the feet per second that you want. We did do a little bit of tuning with this. And we saw that I was able to tune it to exactly uh, feet per second, right in that ballpark of it, where I wanted it to be. You know, let's say I want 885. You can tune it down into 885 and sit in between 880, 887. I've had it there because I like that in the 600 millimeter. The reason, like I said earlier in this video, I have a surprise at the end of the video and there's a reason that this gun is tuned this way and I left the settings this way and I want Ryan to you know definitely have a close-up it's I mean it's set for like I said for the power that I'm after um, this gun comes uh, stock with the 580 bottle I want to talk a little bit about the 580 bottle because what's going on with the bottle you like the M3 is different so the valve system is different and so let's say you have an MK2 with a 580 on it. And you're like, oh, I'll just switch bottles. Well, no, you're going to have to do a, a valve adjustment because it has a different, the valve tip needs to be adjusted. And there's a five cent piece that needs to be added to your valve to make it just a little bit larger so it works with the M3. So don't think if you have an MK2 that you can uh, just use that bottle and swap it over. There will be a part, you'll be able to change that out and you can talk to your dealer or, or whatever. So... But it does come with the bottle set up that way with your gun, of course. There's so, let's get into, man, there's so many features. I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, you know, when it comes to, I'll just hold the gun. So when it comes to, take a look here at the cocking handle. So now we have a bigger cocking uh, handle. And then we have a short throw. So now when you cock it, it's a short throw. So for speed, you got this set up for speed. You're, you're definitely moving. And check check this out. Do you, do you notice something here? As I close this, watch this. It goes boom. It has a little spring tension in there. And so many features are so cool about this that they upgraded this gun. One thing that you notice, only from short throws, awesome. And this bolt handle is awesome. And you're like, what, what's this? What's that there? Well, that's your reg. So that's your reg pressure, your rear reg. And what you're seeing there 
is you can now look at it when you're in competition, you're shooting, you're looking at your reg, see if your gun came off right. Now this is optional. This doesn't have to be here. We, we put this on for the video, but you can see, look, you can put your reg here. You can put your rear, if you don't want that there, that's not a problem. It doesn't have to be there. So don't get all worried about it there. But like I was saying earlier, the way this is set up now with this uh, valve having a dual reg impact, I mean, you, you saw the Maverick came out and I know a lot of you sent me messages and were like, oh, well, when's the, when's the MK3? And, and of course, yes, it does have the dual reg, but look here, look at the plenum here, it's 72. I think the old uh, power plenum was 54. Um, another upgrade, something else I noticed. So when I went to, and I'll do this on camera here for you. You put your mags in. I don't know if you remember some of your side shot. When you put them in, you would uh, have just a little bit of wiggle room. When you put this in, uh-uh. Its tolerances are super tight. And I'm like, wow, that is... Yeah, did you see how that came out of there? That is incredible. That was one thing that I was like, oh, wow, upgrade. You know, because you can feel the difference. It's not a huge difference, but you know it's tight. Another thing, when you're changing barrels, whoo, boy, did they make the tolerances even tighter. And what I mean by that, when you put your barrel in now, it's not going like super, oh, okay, okay we're in. It's, it, you're putting it in there. The tolerances that they did for the barrel as it comes back into through here, it is spot on, perfect, tight, cut down on the movement change that uh, another feature of course we talked about the safety here okay I'm just gonna take this off there we go so the safety here up is safe there's fire they did that for uh, competition reasons also the trigger the trigger post now can be moved forward and back okay so you can move that so whatever you want it set at you can do that the trigger to me, if I were to explain it from the old impact, from the MK2, it's more crisp. So I'm seeing something more crisp from it. And that to me is like, uh, this trigger is awesome. A couple other things I started to think about is the gauges have been upgraded to Wiki uh, gauges. And uh, so they're, these are, I'd say a higher grade gauge I've noticed and they are accurate with my tank now I'm seeing spot-on stuff when I'm using my tank filling tank gauge is saying what the gauge it's it's very accurate um, now let's talk about the upgrades that are coming out there's this well no sorry not upgrades accessories what's gonna be coming out is a chronograph which okay we got this here you're like, oh, big deal. Well, you see, I, I run my phone here and you, and you watch that. So right here, you see the flat part on here on the M3? Right there is going to go a digital readout for the chronograph. So you're actually going to be able to sit there, look at your scope and shoot. And you're going to see your numbers. Your digital readout will be right here. And it'll be right. It's really cool. So that's coming out. And then they have accessory. I'm not sure who's, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Saver Tactical or FX it'll be you'll be able to put your chronograph here and have your chrono chronograph on a rail that goes out to the end of the barrel here to run you can run the side feature that way you're not affecting your barrel when you're shooting your gun in and you're worried about that that chronograph on the end of the barrel changing your point of point of uh, impact so you don't have to worry about that so that's another that's a feature coming up um, there's also, let's see, oh, oh my, this is, this is crazy, and my, my good friend, uh, up north air gunner, Chris Torque, uh, has been working with FX, and they came out with the integrated barrel tuner. They're like, what? On the barrel, you're able to put a tuner on the barrel that works with the harmonic tune of the gun. So hold on. So now we do all this, we're working on all the features here to tune it with the macro and micro. But now, depending on the round, I told you this is the most tunable air gun in the world. Now the integrated barrel tuner, you'll be able to tune, it's weighted, and it moves to 1 100th, I think is what, if I got my notes right, 1 100th. As you turn that, 
you're able to set the settings on there and what's happening is if you know anything about Nikola Tesla you know about frequency harmonics okay so what's happening is you turn that you're getting you're taking the vibration out of your barrel and that shock that's going on as air is released at, at the pressure it now becomes in tune with the gun so now your barrel so now you're going to have full adjustability full caliber change you can do whatever gun caliber slug kit uh, I don't even know what to say you're going to be able to do it all what's amazing about the integrated tuner is now you're shooting slugs let's say your slugs are like this and they're in the vibration and frequency of what's going through there with the harmonic tune you're seeing groups down there by just adjusting the integrated tuner they they just shrink up and they just you're finding it and it's just taking the time putting the homework into your gun the FXM3 is the most tunable air gun in the world. It's just, that's my opinion, and it's just incredible. Okay, remember I told you about a surprise? Well, here's a surprise. So I spent some time with Ernest Rowe, and we did a little R&D together. It's Ernest's idea, but he sent it uh, to me. This is a 357, 600 millimeter barrel. You're like, what? I thought it was eight. No, nope, we're coming. They're coming out with a 600 millimeter, 357. I got to do the R&D on, so I was very happy, very happy with the accuracy. Remember, I said I tuned this gun in 25 well there was a reason because i actually uh tuned it for a 357 so that's where we went well i shouldn't say it like that ernest probably did most of the tuning you better give credit because i know ernest is watching all right so we got 60 yards still and i got the 357 and uh i'm going to shoot some uh five shots here at uh 60 yards and uh just show you Man, what a nice, everybody talks about a truck gun. There you go. Now you got, now you got way over 100 foot pounds of energy. You know, we're shooting an 81 grain at, uh, we're probably, I, I got it tuned about 835. 826 is a very number and you're like, 820, listen, it's set up for short shooting, but nice truck gun, coyote, pig, I don't care what you shoot, you're gonna put it down. All right, well, that's enough talking. Let's just shoot here. All right. Here we go. Oh man, whoo, <laughs> nice and clean. Uh, I was watching the chronograph numbers, we're running about 840. Now you see that hole down there, it's just, I won't go on the same hole. 60 yards, that's nice and clean. Uh, I will be testing at 100, but I wanted to give you a little bit of uh, flavor here on a new barrel coming out on the with the M3, they're gonna launch it. You're going to get to see the 600 millimeter 357 barrel and you can see how short and compact this is now. Come on, man. Check this out. Right here. I know Justin Welch. He'll like this gun. I guarantee you he'll... 600 millimeter? Come on, Justin. I know you want one of these. All right. Look at that group down there. So that's where I found... Now you're like, oh, that's, that's a little bit, you know, slow. Uh-uh. That's the harmonic tune talking. And it gets tighter than what I just shot. You saw how fast I shot that, too. I didn't screw around. And we got wind playing. But that's how at, at 826 is really beautiful tune. Still plenty of foot-pounds of energy to kill your medium-sized game. So now you got yourself one heck of a groundhog slayer, that's for sure. All right. Let's see what else we can get into. 57, 600-millimeter barrel is awesome. It is shooting great, shooting lights out. But now you guys really don't care about 60 yards. You're like, yeah, so what? 
All right, so now we're back at about 112, I think, 115. Steel plates, let's see if we have some energy to knock them plates over down there, and Ryan will pan down there. Let's see how we do here. Let's see if we got the energy. wants to take it all right so you're like is it knocking the plates over yeah it's knocking them over but I was hitting them in the low half so I was hitting them in the very bottom as you can see Ooh. just high just ah, high took it. and I'm out of I'm out of ammo here how we look air wise Ryan probably ate up some there Got enough for knock that last guy over. All right. Let's see if we can take that dude down. Nice. That was a nice headshot right there. Come on, man. All right, let's give Mr. Coyote a little work over here. Let's see if we can give him. Headshots. I don't know if you can see that, but they were all in the head there. That's what this gun's built for, man. Smacking a coyote upside his head right there. 600 millimeter, 357 barrel. Woo! Come on, man. I'm loving it. All right, let's get into some final thoughts. Okay, here we are at the end of the video with the M3. Oh, man. Boy, did we have some fun. You got to see it in 25, but you also got to see it in 357. Come on, man. You got yourself a nice little truck gun sitting here. And I want to thank the sponsors, of course, FX USA, Element Optics for the sending the Helix first focal plane, and for Donnie FL for always keeping it quiet. Thank you, Donnie. Really appreciate it. But what an amazing air gun. You got to hear all the features. You got to hear the accessories that are coming with this. I cannot wait to do the integrated barrel tuning system to see what we can do to you know with your barrel to tune your shots oh man there's just so many features here i mean come on man take a look this thing's amazing it's just incredible i love this air gun this is uh when the maverick came out i was like look at the maverick you know i was like super excited then this comes out and my jaw dropped when i got out of the box i was like Oh man, I got a lot of homework to do. We've had it for a week, so forgive me. In the video I did is, you know, we covered as much as we could. And uh, I, it's just incredible that the uh, time that I'm going to put into this of I'm going to see what else we can come up with because I got a lot of ideas. Well, this is Rick with Shooter 1721 with the FX Impact M3. Thanks for watching. Hey, this is Rick with Shooter 1721. Uh, we got the old playing card on top of a balloon at 105 yards. And we got an aspirin tablet here also. So we're going to try and get both of them here. We'll see if we can get it done. I don't know if we can get them both done without popping a balloon. There is tape on there. But uh, you're like, oh, yeah, we've seen you do this before. Okay, I've done it before. But not with this gun. I have the new FX Impact M3 dual regulator. Woo! 600 millimeter. You ready for this? 357. And we're going to see if that 600 millimeter barrel is accurate at 105 yards. So we're going to go for this. We're going to see if we can smoke that aspirin tablet. If I hit the aspirin tablet, I'm going to try and get both, but probably more than likely I'll hit the aspirin tablet. We'll give it a shot here. So I'm going to go back there, sit in the bench, see if I can take this impossible shot and make it possible. Now remember, this is a 357 round, so we're going to see what we can get done at 105. 600 millimeters, so we got ourselves a, a truck gun, Justin Welch. So now we got a truck gun. Let's see how accurate the truck gun is. Woo! See if we can take this impossible shot and make it possible. Oh my.
right, let's see what we got here. Where are you at? Yes, sir. Big 357 hole. There you go. Cut that now. I hate to say this. That is exactly where I was aiming. So it would have been laying like this and hit like that. I was actually aiming there compensating for wind. Or else I would have got the tablet too. All right, you guys got this. All right. I'll just set him up here. Yeah, I'll go back and let's shoot that now. See what happens. Compensated for wind. That's why I cut the card there. Let me take a look here. Oh yeah, nothing but dust. Take a look at the M3. Come on, man. This is Rick with Shooter 1721, showing the accuracy of the 357 M3 impact. Man, that's sweet.